Hey, what is going on guys? It's Mike with Sunny Slope and today I'm talking about what Chip did. For those who haven't seen it yet, we come home from the meetup down in Oklahoma and prior Oklahoma and uh, we opened the back tailgate and we found a little bit of a surprise that we weren't expecting. What happened was someone left some Daegu's. What did you call me? Uh, some kind of rodent of some sort in the back of Jason's truck. And uh, we were walking up, or we actually were driving up, leaving the meetup. And I stopped to uh, give Jason some jerky, and he said, Mike! Mike! And I see these two little rodents back there. I'm like, what the heck? Who does that? Who leaves that kind of stuff in someone's truck? I mean, that's a responsibility <laughs> that he just put on somebody. But needless to say, Jason was saying that he couldn't take care of them. He wasn't outfitted to take care of them properly out where he's living at. And he asked me if I wanted them. And I was like, nope. Kids in the back seat are like, yep. Yes, yes, yes. We want them. We want them. I looked at mama. Mama's like, what? Nope. But uh, the, let, let me explain. Let, let me reenact of how this actually went down. Hey, what's going on, Jason? Uh, what you got in the back? We got in the back of your truck, brother. Man, someone left these rodents in the back of my truck. What, what are you going to do with those things? I don't know, man. I'm probably going to barbecue them. Oh, man, are you serious? You're going to eat those things? They look disgusting. Who would, uh, who would put those in the back of your truck anyways and just abandon them? Hey, man, please take these off my hands. I can't take care of them. Man, I can't take care of those things. My wife would kill me if I brought those home. You're on your own, brother. Are, are you standing up? Of course I'm standing up, man. What are you trying to say? Like on your haircut? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Who did that? Some crazy nurse. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I got to get going, man. I'll catch you later. It was nice talking to you. Hey, man. This is the last chance. You got to take these things away from me. I can't do it, brother, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all you can say. Hey, don't look at me like that, Jason. I can't take these things from you. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> well, we're at this meetup. I don't see. I don't see anybody yet. I don't recognize any anybody's cars or nothing. Here's a broke down Ford out the front of the road with the big YouTube sticker on the end of it. I think I think that's Jason's about as far as he got in the parking lot, but we'll go inside and see what's going on. Well, I see they got some upfront handicap parking up here. At least Chip will have a place to park when he gets here. I don't see anybody here really. Down there, pretty small. Second stop, I don't know if we're gonna stick around. We're probably just getting the truck to go back home. <laughs> see what's going on around here. We'll go play in the creek. We're gonna go throw war medals off the bridge. I'm just gonna film you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit here and just put the camera on you all the time. Yes, all the time. That's all my video is gonna be. All the cameras be like this. You're just gonna be like this. I'm not seeing anybody around here. I really want to talk to you yet. I mean, there's some cool, cool channels, but I haven't seen any any other ones around here. I don't know. Jason Cog, Coghill. She's got one of your shirts on. She's representing you, man, all the way in Oklahoma. You the man. You the man. You the man. And, and your woman. Your woman's a woman, too. Hey, what's going on? Who are you? I'm Chris Hanson. Dude, you're a lot taller. I'm Chris Hanson. Where are the cookies? You've been, ta <laughs> you've been, you've been talking oh, to our decoy the, chip? I came for the cookies. <laughs> you guys see this? That line starts all the way from there, all the way around, all the way here. Pass him just to talk to me. I mean, I feel pretty. I mean, you see where we're at in this line. That's it, all the way around there. Just to talk, talk to us. We're meeting a lot of good people. We've got Hat Creek Homestead over here. Been talking all kinds of techie talk about phones and stuff. And you said you were gonna get a GoPro. You want to do? Yeah. But look, they made their T-shirts. What last last night? Well, this morning. This morning. This morning that's dedication right there. Are you guys local? Oh, uh, about four hours away. <laughs> four hours away? That's real dedication to get up, make t-shirts, and hit. Oh, man, you guys are. Well, we can't wait to meet all kinds of great people here. I mean, I wish more people wore their 
shirts and stuff because I can't recognize everybody here. It would be easier. Like navigate the whole. It would. Like live chats and on comments you see their name if you don't see their face. You don't see their faces. Exactly. And I know everybody doesn't watch each other, but I think this is a great opportunity for people to put a face to the channel and get a personal like connection to the people and actually start supporting and like networking. Exactly. So hey, you guys, be sure. You guys gotta go check out Hat Creek Homestead. You guys subscribe to him, so no problem. We're running into a fellow Marine here. He's got a channel, what's your channel again? Stone Cabin Adventures. They just started out, they're up to seven subscribers, so we gotta show these guys some love. We gotta show them some veteran military love. I want you guys to go and subscribe to them. What, what you guys' channel about again? Stone Cabin Adventures is about our adventures together <laughs> on our little 10 acres in our stone cabin. Okay, where are you guys located at? In uh, Arkansas, between Boonville and Greenville. That's a beautiful area. Uh, I'm a beautiful. flatlander. Yeah? I, I'm a really, I like flatland. Well, I'm but from Nebraska, is, so I'm flat, you know. But this is, it is beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. Man, so what kind of, what kind of things do you guys do together on in this 10 acre uh, Just simple um, home repairs, chickens. With chickens is all we have right now on livestock. Okay. We're planning to get either goats or pigs. We're oh. trying to decide which one's going to be easier. And I would we'll say survive. goats would be easier first. Okay. Yeah. But and we're trying to do a land swap with the people who sold us the property so that we can get 1.56 acres in front of us. Oh, okay. And because there's a little bit of gap in there. Uh, less than an acre behind There's us. part that he sold that he really wants back. Oh, okay. And there's part that he didn't sell that he doesn't love so much. So. so well, that's, that's going to be nice. Well, what's your guys' next video going to be about? What's your big future plans? Anything planned yet? Uh, We're covering this. Equipment, equipment shed. Uh, All right. We've got an old tractor. Oh. We have a 1953 that's even older than me. Okay. A Farmall Cub. Oh, that's a, well, those little, that's a first runs. gen hobby tractors, right? Yeah. It's a cute little, yeah, cute little tractor. <laughs> the, yeah, we're advice, man. Tractors are hot. Yeah. yeah. Tractor videos, people love those tractor videos. So. Got to do a few you need to do fixes some on the tractor, front yeah. wheels need to be replaced. And, All right. But it still but, runs just fine. Well, that's good. So you got a cabin that's going to happen, or not a cabin, but a workshop you're going to be building here soon. We want to take a bunch of pine trees down. He, oh, ha okay. he has a little workshop, what is it? 10 by 14. 10 by 14. Right. And I'm a writer, so I think I'm going to start putting part of my book. Okay. You know, like a chapter every week or two. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's going to be Pinky's interesting. Fun. So, Pinky's fun. She's my main character. All right. Well, guys, go subscribe to him. Help him out. we got a fellow, bro uh, fellow brother right here. And uh, it was nice meeting you guys. Super fun. Super fun. Hope you guys get some plenty of subscribers. Uh, how long, real quick, how long, how long have you guys been doing YouTube? Months, maybe? Weeks. No, weeks. 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 Before that, we did the walnut, taking up the old walnuts. Oh, yeah, about the time we got the property. So maybe Probably a year. in March. All right. We'll just do it one video or two once a week, well. maybe. But they haven't yeah, all hit. might blow up. We might blow hit. up. That'd they be might just blow up. We haven't been consistent, but we're trying to be. <laughs> all right, guys, be sure to check them out. <laughs> Woo! That's a long way. She said she drove 2,018 miles just to see Sunny Slope Homestead. That is nuts. If you don't know Sunny Slope, uh oh, Chip, Chip is about to give away TV. I don't know what Chip, you want Chip? <laughs> Whoever Chip uh -oh. picks gets the TV. Let me find Chip real quick here. Be right back. Guess we gotta go find Chip. <laughs> you, ready, you ready to pick the TV, yo?
a Dolina the Meyer that lived down the street when they lived with Jason or Jared. His name was like Texas Hollow something. Hollow, hollow what? What? Uh, Texas Hollow. What? <laughs> Texas Hollow <Hall> Pino? <laughs> there you go. Just one TV. <laughs> these out back of Jason Crocker's truck. He said, he said, I quote, I'm going to barbecue. <laughs> That's what he said. He said, I'm going to barbecue these if somebody don't come get them. What I did, I heard that and I was like, no, no Jason Crocker, you are not going to barbecue these today. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, so, so what happened was the next Sunday morning, I was walking by, just dilly bopping around, and I was going to the trash can to look for some food. I happened to look in the back of Jason Crocker's stuff, just looking for some stuff like some an extra t-shirt or some some toenail clippings or something I could have with Jason Crocker because he's so amazing. They threw all the hair out that they cut off his head, so I didn't get none of that. But need to say, man, I always get sidetracked. But I see these little guys sitting in the back. And I thought to myself, he did say he was going to barbecue these, and I am pretty hungry. So I stole them. I made sure these guys are well taken care of, because all I can think about is this, this, this rotisserie style, and these, these degu rodents. Mmm, man. That reminds me of my days in New Orleans, is eating those rats down there, man. But, oh, Mike just got home. Um, I don't know where, I can't, man, I can't run with these things. They'll freeze outside. All right. You guys are lucky this time. I'll be back. Let him leave you on a tent. I'll be barbecuing you guys. So, I, I gotta go. See ya. So, needless to say, those guys, they've got a great home they're gonna go to. We actually found them a home Monday night. We came back Sunday. Uh, when I got off work, I actually got online and we found them a home right away. The only thing we were waiting on was making sure that the people that they were getting these new uh, two uh, rodents I don't like calling rodents, it sounds so bad, but these two pets, they had to get a cage. And, you know, they're making sure they're all set up before they came over and picked up these two pets for their kids. So, guys, if you're worried about what was happening with them, nobody was going to eat the two pets. Trust me. No one was going to barbecue the two pets. Not Chip, not Jason, nobody. The only thing that was kind of bad that happened is the fact that someone did leave them in the back of Jason's truck. I get it, funny, haha. -ha. But needless to say, that, I mean, they're, they're living creatures, bud. To whoever, shame on you. I know you did it in good faith, and I, I, I figured you probably thought that he was gonna find him a good home, but you know, you can't be putting responsibility on people like that, uh, especially when they say they didn't want them. So I'm not gonna speak for anybody on their behalf, but you know, haha, -ha, funny. Good thing it, it ended the way it did. So, you know, moving forward, just remember that. 
we really enjoyed the meetup guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed all the footage I, um that everybody took i didn't get much of it out there and i really had a good time meeting everybody and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking to everybody sorry guys i wasn't gonna stay up till 5 30 in the morning i just can't do it i was exhausted um like jason said it was the truth i got off work on a friday my family was waiting i jumped in the truck and we drove straight down to prior oklahoma i was exhausted when we got in i was tired the next day because we didn't sleep very well so needless to say when I, when i was in the hotel lobby hanging out with all you guys i was running on fumes and then we ate a pepper to top it off it and i was up for the count it was the, the clock was ticking down but i had a great time with everybody and i hope a lot of people took what they needed to take from that meetup because i sure did uh, there are some things I need to work on, um, some reflection about making sure that I'm watching other channels and supporting those other channels when I possibly can. Uh, I have gotten away from watching YouTube, believe it or not. I have concentrated on myself and my family and my property and creating content that I've stepped aside and I've stopped watching YouTube. There is a couple channels I watch religiously. Everybody has them. You know what I'm talking about there, but stopping in to support another channel, just checking to see what they got. Um, that meetup made me realize that I need to start doing that because there were some great people that I ran into that had some really interesting channels and they for surely are going to be on my subscribe list from here on out. And I'm going to go watch those videos, not because I have to, or just because I'm supporting somebody, but because I want to, I want to see what they've got going on. And besides, I mean, it's just fun. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you guys like my haircut? Yeah. Inspired by you know who. So we're growing it out because um, I didn't tell you guys this. When I came back, I went to work on Monday and they said that I couldn't work because I went out of state. So I'm working for home for the next two weeks. What better time to get a funny haircut? But like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I look forward to meeting you guys again in six months or wherever that time may be. All right, guys, so that's all I have. Not much of a video. Not as glamorous as I built it up to be. But it's what I got right now. So I will talk to you guys later. And I appreciate you guys watching. See ya.